Hi guys, welcome to Comfort Life channel. I am very happy to see you here today. Do you want to know how to prepare a great tummy tightening oil? And in this video, I am just going to show you how to do it and also tell you about all the ingredients where they are so great for our skin. Do not forget to subscribe to Comfort Life channel so you would always see all the videos I'm uploading twice a week about a healthy lifestyle, about natural and effective DIY skincare. And as always, I do appreciate your support and attention. It means so much to me. So guys, these are all the ingredients that we'll need. I usually um, make my oil in the 2 ounce amber color, could be any color actually, blue color, preferably something dark, glass bottle. Well, you could use a dropper bottle, that's optional, but for me it's easier to use um, the bottle that just pumps, right? Like this, you know, when you... I think it's really mess-free and it's very convenient. So the recipe goes as this. You would need fractionated coconut oil. Um, I love using fractionated because it will never get solid and besides it's not that greasy if you apply it on your body. You would need to fill up the two ounce bottle two thirds with coconut oil. So it would be approximately this much. So let me go ahead and do that. Actually it's very easy if you ever get your hand on the fractionated coconut oil with these in, that comes in these bottles. That's amazing. I don't even have to do anything, just pump it. So, I hope you could see it. Um, so that would be my two-thirds of coconut oil. The next ingredient would be rosehip oil. And then rosehip oil, we'll need to use just to uh, fill up the bottle with maybe a little bit left, like here, because we'll also need to add the essential oils. You could also add the essential oils first. It's a really a wise decision and then fill up the rest with the rosehip oil. Always make sure your rosehip oil is um, not really expired because they have a very short shelf life of six months. Okay, so let me um, add 15 drops of vitamin E. We use it here as a preservative. Besides, no one will argue it's an amazing oil to use and we'll need 15 drops of that. So let me count 15 drops. One, two, three. Fifteen. So that's that. Now, let me add the essential oils. The first essential oil will be geranium essential oil and I will add it in the amount of 30 drops. So let me do that. Thirty. I have a really small bottle which I will need to restock pretty soon. Now we shall also need 30 drops of frankincense essential oil. So pretty much 30 drops each. Just go ahead and add 30 drops of frankincense. And now the pink grapefruit, my favorite. Always have it in a huge bottle. 30 of that. All right. And now, as I've said before, you just fill up the bottle, the rest of it, with the rose heap oil. So let me do that. Normally, I take a dropper, so it's not really messy. So several droppers, and now it would be good. Okay, so all we'll do now, we shall close it up. So in my opinion, this is one of the best oils. Just uh, the best oils. I could use for my body. I actually go further and use it on other parts of my body, not only the tummy, because it smells like, I don't know, it has a divine smell for sure. You close it up and this is how simple it is. It contains the ingredients. Uh, you will, If you don't have them on hand and if you buy them, actually you will never be upset because if you are into DIY recipes, these are the staple ingredients that you need to have on hand, is including the essential oils, of course. It's something that you could use with great results for your body and for your face. So I think this is a great recipe to go with and I hope you will like it. I also want to mention that I think it's a great oil to use also for the neck area and the decollete area to provide really great care for your skin. 
But as you know, there is no magic bullet. And of course, in order for you to have a beautiful body, you need to love your body, first of all. Never think that you're looking bad, especially if you have stretch marks, especially if that's after pregnancy. This is something to be proud of. But a good oil to use on your tummy that would nourish your skin is always a great idea. All the ingredients are very powerful and what's more important is that we have all of them in one formula. So I will start with the coconut oil. Coconut oil, first of all, I'm using fractionated coconut oil. If you don't want to use that and you have regular and you're eager to try it, you can, but it also might become solid. I'm using coconut oil because um, of its deep moisturizing properties. Because of this uh, molecular weight, it can penetrate into the skin layers. And it's also moisturizing due to its um, saturated fats, of course. So this is a wonderful oil to use for your skin. The next oil I'm going to talk about, of course, is the rosehip oil. We're using rosehip oil mainly because it helps to fade the stretch marks and scars. It contains antioxidants and vitamins such as A and C. Vitamin A can penetrate deeply into the skin layers, and vitamin C is so important for skin elasticity and also for the collagen production. Rosehip can strengthen the skin cells and promote the new skin cells also. And then we're using essential oils. While you could really talk hours about the benefits of essential oils, I'll just say a few words. The first essential oil we were using was frankincense. This is a magic oil to use for your skin. So. You know, anytime you're in doubt which oil to use for skincare recipe, use frankincense oil. It has um, antiseptic properties. It means that it has the ability to contract and tighten the skin tissue. Besides, it helps with cell regeneration and turnover. It means it can help the damaged uh, cells and promote the creation of the new healthy cells. The next oil we were using was geranium essential oil as well as frankincense. It has estrogen properties, has an ability to tighten loose skin and also helps to create new cells, face stretch marks and scars. As oil we were using was grapefruit, my favorite uh, oil out there that smells like the best for me, as well as the rosy oil. It's full of vitamins, um, specifically vitamin C of course, which is important for our skin elasticity and collagen production. And now, these are all the ingredients and now imagine we have all of them together in one recipe. That's why it makes this recipe amazing and what's more important, it's natural. The way you're going to use it is just rub it on your belly um, after the shower, twice a day. Um, you could even do a little massage, it's also great for digestion. And I would be really happy to know about your results and what you think about it. Maybe you would suggest some really great add-ons that I haven't thought about and thank you so much for your support and attention guys i wish you to stay very happy and healthy and love your body this is very very important don't try to look at someone with a perfect body you want to have the body that you have and that you love and if you're trying to do something to have a better body if you want it don't be hard on yourself you're doing it and you will be there so thanks again with a thumbs up if you like this video subscribe to my channel and i will be happy to see you soon